Hi, George here, and we're going to be making a photo merge panorama out of these five pictures here inside of Photoshop. Now, these were all taken over at the Calico Ghost Town in Southern California. And you can kind of see how this was done. These are handheld, and I was overlapping them by about half the picture each time. These two are almost the same picture. We can see our overlap. If I just kind of drag this one in, that's right about here. And this one's pretty close to that, and just a little bit of a difference. Kind of like that. And then this one comes in right about in here. And the final one over here is just about, just about there. So there's the panorama. Now you could put all these into one picture yourself and then try to adjust things, but notice how the sky color changes over here dramatically. Real difficult to do that kind of work without having some assistance or help. And luckily, Photoshop has that. That's over here under the file menu. Come all the way down here to automate. And at the bottom of automate, we have photo merge right there. Bring that up. And here is the photo merge tool. First off, left side, a lot of options in here. The auto setting, perspective, cylindrical, spherical, collage, and reposition. You can try these different settings, but I've never had to do anything except for the auto that's always worked for me. So we'll do that here. Down below, several more options. Blend images together. Vignette removal. This is in case you have any darkening or any corners of your images. Geometric distortion correction. We'll go ahead, we'll put that one in there. And also very important, the content aware fill transparent area, because there's gonna be spots in here that are gonna be missing information. Like right down here, there's the bottom of the picture and there's nothing over in this section here. So this section is gonna be missing. So we'll use the content aware fill to fill in that missing section. Okay, we now need to bring in the photos. And that's right up here where it says, use, choose files or folders, and you can then use the browse and then navigate to the folders that you want to or the files you want to include in your photo merge. Or if you have them open like I do, just choose add open files. It brings those in, there we go. Choose okay, and it's then going to run the process here to put these into a panorama for us. We'll do that. Just now thinking through, checking all those images, finding the overlaps on the images, and then Stitching those is the stitch part of the process. And it's now going to be going in and filling in the remaining background area. And there it is. There's our new panorama. Notice I did the sky looks great, real good job up there on the sky. It filled that section in very nicely. Filled it in over here real nicely, no problems in there. Left hand side did a really nice job filling in the left hand side as well. Photoshop is very good at this kind of work, especially with the fill. And there's a little bit of problems in there. Some duplication happening here. We'll take a look at that in just a second. But first, let's see how this was done. I'll just hide that. And let's just look at these one at a time. So the first one brought in a little bit of the ground down below and a little bit of the sky right there. Next one was this upper left hand section. And notice how Photoshop takes care to find just the right spot to come in and stitch that together. Here's the middle section. Same thing. Here's this bit over here. And finally, the right hand side over there. Okay. We can get rid of some of the stuff that we don't need. I'll close down the other files, get those out of our way. There we are, that's all done. We're through with all that. And I'll use the Control D keyboard shortcut to deselect that. And let's dock this picture up here. There we go, and I'll use Control Zero to fit this screen. Okay, everything looks great. Let's just double check now these edges down. In the bottom left-hand corner, we should check this area here and the bottom right-hand corner. I think this is okay. I don't see any problems over here. Let's just grab the zoom tool, we'll scroll in on that. That looks fine down there, so nothing to do on that side. Let's go over to this side over here. And almost perfect. We have three duplicated shadows in here. Let's just go ahead and clean that up just a little bit. So I'll grab the clone stamp tool. You can see there's the clone stamp size right there. That should be good. And I'll take out this one in the middle here and I'll Change that one a little bit. I'll just grab some of the dirt right over here. Alt and click, and let's just come in and do that. And a little bit right there, that should be enough. I'll get those two rocks. There we go, I think that's better. And then it's a bit of a duplication happening in there. I'm just gonna take a bit of the coloration here and just bring that up just to kind of change things around a little bit. And it's a little bit weird right here. I see three matching bushes in here, same thing. I'll just grab something else and let's just bring it in here 
and change those a little bit so we don't have that duplication happening. Okay, I think that's everything that we have to do in there. And that's all there is to it. Everything else looks fine. Let's just go ahead. We'll scroll over here to the right end. A little line right here, maybe at the bottom. I'll just grab some of this right in here. So Alt click and I'll pull that straight down. And that should be okay. And just a little bit more there just to mess things up a little bit. And I think that's it. I think we now have and all the repairs that's needed. Photoshop is actually very good at doing this content aware fill. And that looks great. The top, of course, is perfect. No problems up there at all. So control zero to fit screen again. And there it is real fast, real easy. The only real trick on this is taking the original pictures. Just try to keep things as level as possible. You can do it handheld. This was, that was fine. And try to stay in one spot when you're doing this. If you walk around a little bit between pictures, it'll line up less successfully. Okay, if you like this video, make sure you click on like, click on share, and don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss out on any videos in the future. And if you want to learn a lot more about how to use Adobe Photoshop, take a look at my complete training course for Adobe Photoshop. The link for that is right down there in the description. And I'll see you next time.